good day everyone I wanted to talk about day trading margins and share some insight of what uh, we see as a series three brokers that have assisted many many clients and uh, obviously still assist many clients many times prospects or clients will come to us and ask us what is the lowest day trading margins that you will give me and while we try to be competitive in the industry and we do offer low day trading margins I personally feel that going to the lowest day trading margin is pretty much playing Russian roulette. If you want to day trade a mini NASDAQ uh, with $500 day trading margins, that is pure gambling. And I'm hoping that most traders are trying to speculate in a way that they can find an edge in the market and not purely gamble. But when you use $500 day trading margins on the mini NASDAQ, uh, let's take a look. <coughs> Mini Nasdaq in the last uh, few minutes went from 13,554 to 13,500. So that's 44 points uh, times 20. That's about, not about, it's $880 per contract. Assuming you day trade with $500 day trading margins and you have $5,000 in your account, that means that you have the ability to go long or short 10 contracts. So if you went along 10 contracts uh, at the high of the bar, uh, five minutes later your account would have been down 8800 or deficit or hopefully the auto liquidation or the risk server would take you out before you just blew up your whole account. Obviously if you done it the other way you could have doubled your account and then some. But that is the point that I'm trying to make is those extreme low day trading margins are, are very much uh, a Russian roulette and you gambling it's a flip of a coin uh, what I've noticed as a broker <coughs> is that our more professional traders larger trader institutional type traders they will enforce on themselves even when they day trade to use a maximum of 25% of the overnight that means if the Nasdaq overnight I'm looking at the Nasdaq overnight and it looks like it's about 20,000 initial margin They'll use 5,000 for each contract they're trading as a self-imposed, even though they can get lower margins than that. Uh, and also, I think sometimes clients or prospects don't understand because they'll come to open an account, let's say, of $10,000, and they'll ask me, what is the lowest day trading margins you can give me? And let's say with a certain setup, I can only give 20%, which will be uh, 5,000 or so. <clears throat> they will they will ask me wow uh, I, I really need the $500 day trading margins and that's when I'm asking them what is the largest trade size you've ever been with in with $10,000 they may tell me two or three and I'm saying so why are you so anxious to have $500 day trading margins because with $500 day trading margins you can be short sure along 20 mini Nasdaq on a $10,000 account meaning you can get wiped out in a matter of minutes so hopefully uh, brought some awareness and attention. And yes, like I said, <clears throat> we do offer those type of margins. The lowest day trading margins, usually it comes with platforms that have auto liquidation. But if you ask for my opinion as a broker, as somebody that watched many traders trade and had the quote unquote luxury of seeing a lot of actions that most self-directed traders don't see because you only see what you trade on your own or maybe what your friend is sharing with you I would recommend imposing yourself higher day trading margins than what uh, most brokers will give uh, so you have a better chance of surviving these markets and the more you survive the more you learn and you'll have a better chance of actually getting to the next level so hopefully that was helpful thanks and uh, Good trading from canontrading.com e-futures.com. Bye.